What up, what up, Wimbush here. And if you ever had green screen footage that you wanted to key inside of Unreal Engine 5, it's really easy to do now. Now, I'm gonna start this tutorial off with a prefix that I think there's better solutions out there, whether it's After Effects, Nuke, or even DaVinci Resolve. But if you wanted to use Unreal Engine, I could definitely show you how to use it. So starting off, I'm down here in my content browser and I'm gonna right click, come down here to media, and then I'm just gonna add an IMG media source because I'm gonna bring in EXR footage. So once I have it down here, I'm gonna double click on it. And then over here where we have sequence path, I'm gonna click on these three dots. And then I'm gonna bring in my EXR sequence. Now I highly suggest using the EXR sequence because it works really great inside of Unreal Engine 5. And anytime I use anything like an MOV or MPEG, it always gave me playback issues. So I definitely suggest using the EXR sequence. So once I find my EXR sequence in here, I'm gonna click on open. And then down here under advanced, where we have frame rate override, I know mine's at 30 frames per second. So just make sure it matches your footage. And then we're gonna click on save. So then I'm gonna exit this out. And now we can see we have our green screen footage down here. Now with this down here, if I come back over here in my content browser, right click, come over here to media, then come right here to media player. And this is gonna pop up. I'm gonna click on yes for video output media texture asset, click okay. And now that's gonna bring up our media player in which when I click off, now you can see it made a media texture. So if I double click on this TV screen here, you should see you have your image sequence down here. And if I double click on it, now you can see it's actually playing back inside of Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna click on save and then I'm gonna exit this out. And then now you can see it's actually popping up inside of our media texture. So just a few more steps here, right where we have media texture, I'm gonna right click on this, create material, and then that's gonna create a material in which if I double click on it, now you can see we have it inside of our viewport here for a material graph. So let me actually make this a plane here so we can actually see what's happening. And you can see we have our green script footage on our plane. So right here where we have our material result node right here where we have the brown node, you wanna come over here. You wanna make sure you have this clicked on. And then under the details panel, under blend mode, instead of opaque, we wanna make sure that we have masked. So click this on. And now you can see it opens it up for opacity mask here. Now, if I right click in my material graph here, we should see a search window. So I'm gonna type in MF underscore chroma. That's gonna bring up the chroma key here in which if I left click on this, this is the only node that we're gonna need here. So if I bring over my RGB into my input color and then emissive color out to my base color, that's gonna be that right there. And then right here where we have alpha, we wanna make sure we drag this into the input UV part two right here. And then opacity, we wanna bring this down to opacity mask. Now you should see it right here. It looks like it's cutting it out a little bit here, but we don't really wanna worry about it right here. We just wanna click on save. And then we're gonna exit this out and we're gonna make this into a material instance. So right here where we have our new material, I'm gonna right click on this and create material instance in which now that's gonna bring up our material instance here. So if I double click on this, come over here to where we have color key now make this into a plane. Now we can see we have our footage here in which if I click on this green part right here and click on the color picker, you can left click and drag it into here in which this is the hard way of doing it. Like this is why I suggest doing it in the other means other than Unreal because you wanna know your RGB values if you accurately wanna cut this out. So if I actually come over to After Effects, I can see right here where I have my RGB values. If I look at my top right under Info, this tells me the exact RGB values that I need. But again, I would just suggest using something like this because you're gonna get much better tools. Like this footage right here I got off YouTube is actually really shot nicely. And so we have a clean background, but a lot of times that's not the case. And so you're gonna want some good tools to properly get this out. So I would suggest using something like this keying it out and then bringing it in as the EXR sequence of which I have a tutorial on how we can actually do that as well. But again, this is for the people that want to know how to do it inside of Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna type in my RGB values that I have here. So under red, it's gonna be 0 0.2070. And under green, it's gonna be 0 0.6168. And then under blue, it's gonna be 0 0.2372. Now, if I click on OK, now you can see that we have it properly keyed out here. And that again, that's because I knew my RGB values that I needed for the keyer here. Now, if I come down here, we have some alpha control. We have some D spill too. So I'm going to turn this on. And then for my alpha min, 
let's turn this up just a tad bit and that's just going to clip it around the edges a little bit there for us luma mask same thing just going to bring it in on the edges a little bit so you just want to play around with these depending on your footage to accurately get a good key in here so let's say we're happy with this maybe we actually want to do some color correcting too so down here under visualization under number seven color correction amount make sure i turn this up to one then i'm going to turn on my contrast maybe turn it up just a tad bit saturation maybe bring it up just a little bit somewhere around there and i'm just going to leave it like that but you do have some color correction tools here as well maybe let's turn on the saturation a little bit more then we're going to click on save exit this out and now we just have to drag this onto a plane so if i come up here to where we have quickly add the project i'm going to left click on this come down here to shapes i'm just going to add a plane into my scene here and then i'm just going to left click and drag my material instance onto this plane and then let me make sure i move this over so it's right side up here i can come over here to my transform tools make sure this is at 90 degrees then maybe let's make this a little bit bigger like around here at five so if i double click on my plane knock an orbit around him let's add a sequencer by coming up here to the clipboard left clicking on this at level sequence just going to leave it at default for the naming convention click on save and i'm going to make sure i'm at 30 frames per second which i am so now let's get this animated in which if i come over here to track hit the plus sign come right here to media track and then right here with the plus symbol next to media I'm going to click on this media source and i'm just going to add my image sequence and then if you notice when i play it's not playing back at all and that's because we have to right click on our media source here come over here to properties and then down here under media texture i want to click on none and i'm just going to look for our video player which we have right here and now once we do that once we play it now we should see them playing back in here so let me actually come over here and add a camera in here as well so we could just properly align this up to our character here and then we can also come back over here fix the scaling a little bit so let's say somewhere around there zoom in on him a little bit and i just have the generic hdr for the background so nothing too crazy going on but if i click on play Nick, you see we have our green screen footage playing inside of our scene here. So once again, like I was saying, this is a quick and dirty way of doing it, but I highly suggest using a proper keyer instead of like Nuke, instead of After Effects, or instead of DaVinci Resolve. If you really want to get some good results, export that out as an EXR with the Alpha channel, and I guarantee you're going to have a much better time once you bring it into Unreal. But hopefully this helped you out. If you do have some green screen footage that shot really well, like in the example here, this is a quick and easy way that you could do it. And until next time, stay fresh. Keep creating and I'll catch you in the next video. I see you soon. Take care.